So you have an iPhone 10s, 10, even the uh, iPhone 10R. I'm going to show you how to transfer photos and videos and other files directly to your Chromebook. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, get some photos and videos, and we're going to download it to the Chromebook hard drive. I'm not talking about using a Google Drive or the cloud to upload it. Okay, so this is very very simple to do, but it's a little bit different than actual Windows computer. Okay, so first thing is this. Obviously, we have to make sure we have a, a USB A. USB A um, to a USB or to a lightning port. You need one of these cables here. Some of the uh, newer iPhones, they don't even come with uh, the USB A. It's a USB C to a um, to a lightning lightning cable. Anyways, you need one of these. I'll put a link where you can get this. This is a really good, inexpensive one. I have about 30 of these laying around. But first thing you want to do is go ahead and connect it. Okay, let me go ahead and connect it. Okay, now, okay, so my phone is charging now. Now, as soon as I log in here, you will get a message that says, allow this device to access photos and videos. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna go and click on allow. Once you do that, your My Files uh, window will open up here, which is basically like a Explorer window on a Windows computer, okay? So now, you always get this message here that pops up, ready to back up the Google Drive. Basically, they're asking if you wanna upload your photos and videos to um, the Google Drive or the cloud, which we're not gonna do. We're gonna save it directly onto the hard drive of the um, Chromebook here. So, if we look here, iPhone, it says Apple iPhone under DCIM. Now here's my folder where I have all my, fit, my videos and photos. You may have more of these depending on how many photos and videos you have, but I just have a few, um, let me double click on there. So I just have some photos and videos here, as you can see. Now, you guys are probably trying to like drag and drop it onto the desktop like this and letting go, but it keeps going back. That's because again, th this is not a, a Windows PC. What you have to do in order to download anything onto the hard drive of this Chromebook is you see my files here. Now that is part of the hard drive. Also, they have another folder in here called downloads. That's part of the Chromebook hard drive as well. So this is what we can do. We can actually drag and drop, you know, these photos or whatnot directly into the downloads folder. Or what we can do is we can actually, what I would recommend is go ahead back down here to my files and then tap that and you want to create a new window. So we're just going to make a new folder under the, um, right next to the downloads folder. So right here, here's my files, here's downloads. Just click on my files here and then we're going to make a new, a new folder here and we're just going to call this one, we'll just call it Joe. Okay, so now I have two folders under my files, uh, downloads and Joe. Let me go ahead and open up Joe right here. So now what I can do is I can drag and drop. I mean, I can go one by one. I can drag. I can drop it over here. You can see it's over here, okay? Even if you want a movie, we can drop it over here as well. Uh, let's see here. You want to grab some of them? Like, let's go ahead and grab this one and all the way to down here. I'll highlight all of these and I'll drag and I'll drop all these here. And you can see it says copying 21%, copying seven items, and you see it populate here. Okay, so like I said, it is not, this is the hard drive of the uh, my Chromebook here. It's not, has nothing to do with my phone now. So all those photos and videos that I just transferred over is actually, it is now on my um, my Chromebook here. So pretty simple. Any questions or issues, uh, comment below, all right?